Alright, so we're over here with the only game where you get to play God and also sound like a Marvel superhero. It's Equilinox. So this is a God-style game where you get to control the entire world. You get to mess around with the landscape and breed all kinds of new creatures and watch them as they decimate each other. You're supposed to create Utopia, but I think we're probably going to try and make something and then burn it to the ground. I don't know how vicious the game gets. I understand that there's like a Darwinism in it, in that, you know, the strong survive and creatures will evolve into better, powerful versions of themselves. Ah, let's check it out. New world. World name. Please, Gray. No. Oh, water options. Oh, a dry world, a normal world, and a wet world. I don't know. I guess we'll go with normal. Maybe we'll do like a water world later on or something. Uh, sure. Generate my world, Equilinox. And also, defeat evil. Oh, welcome. Click the task tab and follow the tasks. Okay. All right, so this is our chunk over here. You're going to notice that everything is a barren wasteland of sadness. What in the heck? Banana farmer? Mother of God. There evolves from guinea pig. So I don't really know a lot about the evolution of rabbits. Is this a thing? Did they come from the guinea pig? Whatever. Task one, watching grass grow. I'm going to get some of this done. So I guess you grab your grass, you chuck it on the ground, and then literally you have to wait for it to grow. You get to watch grass grow. Thank God we could fast forward things like this. I think that it shows you like the health and stuff of it. There we go. The grass moves along pretty quick. You complete it. You get your DP points. Could be dinner plate or something naughty. I think it's called diversity points. Go forth life. Oh, I got daisies now too. I'm curious how far the stuff will move. Like, once you can, like, hold on, you can kind of, like, really get down here. Now you really get to see the grass grow. Look, everyone, straight ahead of us, you're going to notice the very rare, sad daisy. Never mind, it's a blade of grass. They all look the same to me. Now our world is getting slightly greener. We also get to make a tree. I feel like I should make stuff over here by the water. We have little low poly clouds floating overhead. I really don't know if there's like weather. Uh, sure. I'm gonna put it right by this water over here. Day one, year one. Gray begins the, the, the harsh process of creating a world for all the living creatures to enjoy just so they, he can watch them hunt each other to death. In case you guys are wondering, we got five generations of grass tufts right now, okay? Things are getting pretty hefty over here. What is this? Evolution. Oh, this is how you can turn things into other things. You can mess with their genetic traits too. Oh God, you can change the size. How freakishly big can you get the grass to be? My oak tree needs to be satisfied. <laughs> Right now, this oak tree is, like, gonna go on strike. It's not happy enough. I think that what we have to do is, like, maybe put some plants around it or something. Probably turn the area into more greenery than it is right now, because right now the area is all sandy and sad. There, there's a couple daisies. There's a couple of grass chunklets. It's happening. The tree. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, the tree is getting happy. Slowly but surely. More grass. <laughs> I guess we already completed that one somehow. Sad yes, we can finally make sheep. This is the first morsel to eventually be fed to, what else do you have? Toads, butterflies, oh, fox. Yep, the bear. I'm not gonna lie, the beaver looks more like a back scratcher because of the low poly style, but I'm sure once we get one down, it'll appear adorable. All right, Mr. Sheep, get up in there. Actually, you know what? Here's a little sheep brother for you. Now, supposedly, these little sheeplets over here, you can take control of them playing around. That's his action. It has a name? The sheep's name is Mackenzie. <laughs> Hold on. What's this one? Bo oh my god, that's a fantastic name. Boss. Mackenzie. Oh, I wanted to make it like Mackenzie the Fierce. All right. He's just Mackenzie the First. Oh, wild boars evolved from sheep. Uh, sure. Why not? I'm gonna put some stones down because I feel like they're probably important for something or other. I'm also gonna put some more plants down. Kind of like adjoin our greenery together. And, uh, yeah, another tree. Oh, this sheep got fatter than the other one. Now, how do you, how do you mess with them? Like I said, I know there's a way over here. Selective breed. Oh, you can change the color and the disease risk, the bounce power. It's 20 boings worth of power. That's what this sheep produces. So instead of running your cars on horsepower, you can run them on boing power. Take control? Am I the sheep now? Oh, I am. Oh, I can talk as a sheep. What else can you do as a sheep? You can sprint. How fast do sheep bounce? They, they, they bounce all right. I would call this like the Ford Focus of sheeps. 
Temple's gonna be like, great, you're not supposed to pluralize sheep. Oh, it's fine. These aren't real sheep. They're basically like trapezoid, not even that. I don't know what they are. I get, what do you call this? Is this like a, this is like a polygon? Kind of looks like a rhombus from some angles. So do you guys breed or like, what do you do? Can you, can you, can you make more baby sheep for me? Because I need three sheep in order to get my next chunklet. Yep. Totally bred sheep. Two little baby sheep be bouncing out of this more powerful sheep. Boss is very fertile. Very fertile sheep. Gotta make wheat. Can't be that hard, right? Go over here. Genetically mess with some stuff. Uh, you need stones. Stones. Bam. Gonna go ahead and breed some wheat. I don't really know how we're forcing this to happen. I guess we'll just say that we're utilizing our epic god powers. Oh, I didn't know. There's like a day-night cycle. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. The star is shining overhead. Over a land that is going to be rife with sad. Wheat and two. One, oh, wow, that was, that went. Oh, my... My freaking grass died. I'm at 93% wheat power. Where's the, how do I get the rest of it? Oh, there we go. Just pick another piece of grass. I just unlocked seaweed. Oh, and chickens. The chicken is a simple bird, which enjoys spending its days wandering around, pecking at wheat seeds. Chickens also lay eggs, which hatch into chicks after a while. They're often hunted by various predators. It's interesting that it knows what its future is in my hands. Average life expectancy, 23 hours. Poor critter. Oh, it legit starts as an egg. Its name is Maddie. Oh, it's hatching. Let us watch. Oh, we're only at 23%. Oh, never mind. It totally hatched. There we go. Look at this adorable little chicklet. Can I can I control you now? What sort of sound does the chicken make? You know, I really don't feel like this tiny little thing would make the sound of a full-grown chicken. But whatever, you you keep doing you, Maddie. I need to evolve a buttercup, which means I have to mess around with the color of this thing. Selective breed. Uh yellow shirt sure. now supposedly what happens is this thing dies it sacrifices itself for the future of all daisy kind a chicken has caught a disease due to the poor quality of the habitat wow i haven't even been trying and i'm killing stuff already well go eat something there's freaking weed everywhere look at this this chicken's gonna die this chicken has no chance to survive goodbye lexi you'll be missed Blech. Just falls over and disintegrates. Oh, they don't like many trees. And they want more grass. I'll bet that's the problem. Hold on, let me let me grass it up in here. Come on, Sterling. Stop vomiting up deadly chunks and heal yourself already. You better not get my sheep sick. Oh, my chicken! It's full. Are you satisfied, Maddie? Do you enjoy your life here? It's got a dislike species. I'm guessing she hates sheep. I need to evolve a buttercup from this daisy. Oh, the daisy is actually a little bit bigger than other daisies. It's more powerful than average. It's 0 .105. Again, I don't know how freakishly large you can make stuff. I need to make a bunch of seaweed. I need 10 of them. What the A strange oak tree has been born with an unusual mutation. Like what? Does it have like the power of telekinesis or something? Oh, it's a blue oak tree. I have no clue how this happened, but it's pretty cool. Oh, I unlocked a fish. We've got trout now. Sure, let's put two trout in there so they can go ahead and do their trouty thing. It's not monetization friendly, so we can't watch directly. You shouldn't really spy on the trout anyway. I can't see the trout because it's so dark. I need to evolve another plant. Can you evolve seaweed? Oh, you sure can. We need large rocks. I'm guessing you need to evolve a rock into a large rock? Okay, you don't. I, I, you don't, I don't know, man. I don't know how the game exactly works. I thought maybe you could do it. All right, we're gonna need a pink trout in order to eventually get a red fish. So, uh, yeah. 3K! These chickens are unsatisfied. I'm gonna make like a giant wheat field over here. Here we go. Now our chickens are finally happy. This chicken's name is Blast. All right, you boys know Flash Gordon? This is Blast Gordon. I unlocked the rock. I really don't know what it does. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these in the water because I think we eventually need one. I'm gonna put one over here and I'll put one over here too. All right, we need a light blue daisy, so I have to mess with genetics again. All right, I need a big beefy grass. I need one that's like, all right, screw it. If the environment won't give it to me, we'll force one to get bigger. Size. Oh, look at how much it costs, but you can make it real big. Blast Gordon has passed away. Wow, our chickens are going pretty buck wild over here. I'm kind of impressed. Finally, we have a piece of grass that's good and powerful, big enough to become a piece of mint, but I need more grassland. Could you do me a favor and become a mint already, please? I've had enough of this crap. Thank you. Man, our fish have been getting busy. Hold on, let's see if I can take control of a fish over here. It's swimming around. There's probably not a lot to do as a fish, but swim. Do fish make noise? 
No. They don't even have a make noise button. Alright, we need kill. In order to do that, we need large rocks. Alright, so we need a woodland over here. So I'm really gonna go nuts. I'm putting like a ton of trees up in here. A trout has been born with an unusual mutation. It is the X Factor trout. Is this you? Ah, it's a green trout. It's an S. See, normally we have gray trouts, but now we have one that happens to have, I don't know, like some sort of pigmentation issues or something. Never thought I'd be researching a wobbly tree. I'm not really sure what this is. It's gotta be real, right? All the other trees, all the other animals and stuff in here are real. It's gotta mean something. We need like five of these. It says, we, or we need three, and then the red maple trees as well, which are a pain in my ass. That's uh, about time. We're finally researching oregano. I never thought I'd be so happy to see the day when delicious oregano bars would slowly fill in so that we could continue the greatness that will eventually be the apocalypse of all animal kind. Oh God, all the chickens are annoyed. I think it's because we've got so many uh, trees in here now, just like species. Oh, the friggin' sheep are starting to move into where they are. Oh, they're killing all my chickens. Actually, how did the chickens get all the way over here? Didn't I have a nice, happy chicken land over here? Eh, whatever. Eh, yeah, get diseased and die. See what I care. Well, I can finally put down a guinea pig, but they cost a friggin' arm and a leg. 3,600 DPs for a guinea pig. Oh, I finally have a friggin' red birch tree. I've waited for so long. Please don't die so I can evolve you into a red maple. I think I have everything I need. Oh, mother of God. I just need enough of the DPs. Yes. Please continue to flourish. You don't mind if I mess with your genetics, do you? It's all in the name of science. We have to make apple trees eventually over here. Oh, I thought all the trout died. Uh, they're back. I don't really know how, but whatever. How are you guys enjoying the environment? Oh, they're enjoying it quite a bit. What do I need to make you creatures into the next level of trout? Need pink and kelp. No problem. I need the healthiest trout. Where's one he at? Perfect. Got one. Pink trout. Right over here. All we need is a couple of kelp and we're freaking set. Redfish. Boom. A strange sheep has been born. What sort of sheep do we have now? What sort of freak of nature has come into this world? I can't see anything. It's so dark outside. Where's all my where's all my flocks of sheep at? There they are. Alright, sheep. What happened to one of you? Okay. I've got apple trees growing finally. Which means it's time to throw down some guinea pigs. Oh god, the sounds they make. This is your polygonal guinea pig. It basically looks like uh, like two crackers on top of a Twinkie. But, oh jeez, the high-pitched noises. I thought this was a guinea pig. <laughs> Look at it, it's got the ear and everything. It's a freaking stone. Drop apples. Oh, the apples are dropping. Do guinea pigs even eat apples? I probably, man, they're everywhere now. Holy god, these things are all over the place. What do you guys eat? Fruits, berries, yeah, they eat apples. Eat one. Do it! Eat the apple. Yes! Apple's eaten. One. It is eating the apple. This thing's name is Captain? What? All right. Yeah, you waddle over to this apple over here. Like this. Now, eat it. Now, put a sheep in here. Let me see if this sheep will eat any of the, uh, the apples. Got it. Finally. Finally, the redfish don't hate my guts anymore. Our environment for the riverbed was crap. So now I've put like a ton of water lilies in here and there's all kinds of seaweed and kelp and everything and they're enjoying it now, about time. Hello, Killian. Would you mind if I messed with your genetic code? Oh, we need a water lily nearby. Uh, okay. Chicken, I'm gonna slap you down right there. Yes, Bobo. Drown yourself for food. Do what you gotta do. Actually, I could probably give you like a little wheat plant or something there. I have a couple of these. Duck's name is Pandora. It is the first duck that will exist in this new world that has been created. Look at how adorable it is. Oh, it's become a legit duck, like the mallard style with the green head and everything. Look at it waddle around toward the water. Are you gonna go swimming? Tell me you're gonna go swimming. Get in the water. Yes. Oh, it legit floats. All the other birds just kind of sink to the bottom and die of drowning. All right, man, our redfish are doing good. The environment's looking freaking strong. All right, I got tomato plants growing now. We got guinea pigs going nuts over here. Sheep are flying around doing their thing. It says I need a better biome for this, so I'm trying to mess with it in order to get the wild boars getting created. We got ourselves our first wild boar. His name is Cubby. Is it just me or does the guinea pigs look a lot like a chicken, like a roast chicken? Just walking around like there's the two little legs and there's the body. Okay, 
I've been working pretty hard trying to get to the point where we can eventually have our predators and stuff. Everything's working pretty good. Like, we have a sad little pocket over here where the chickens just play. They seem to enjoy it. I don't know. They don't seem to hate it, at least. It's not the best biome because they hate trees, but whatever. Over here, it's a freaking animal smorgasbord, man. The guinea pigs love it. The sheep love it. The boar, it's a boar, so it really, it kind of hates everything, but it's still alive. As we go down here, looking at our various mushrooms and animals they're having, this is actually a pretty sweet little game. I was surprised that we were able to combat the disease that had stricken a bunch of our creatures. But now we got like a couple of ducks. They're just like looming over here every now and again. We'll probably even get more because there's so many plants and fish and everything like that. The fish are doing pretty good. They're very segregated. The redfish stay on, on this side. The trout stay on this side over here. Hey, what do you guys think of Equilinox? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna have a link uh, to the game if you wanna check it out as well. I'm trying to figure out what we should shoot for next. Things are like starting to grow way up here. That's kind of cool. Before we stop, I wanna make a mutant sheep. So I'm gonna start putting it in their genes that they be much, much larger. I wonder if this will increase the overall size of sheep. Oh, it did. This sheep is even bigger. Hold on, can can you go even further than this? Like, is it a is it a base from its current size? Like, how about if I do that? Will it go up to like 1.2? It definitely works. Look at this sheep. It's more muscular and more powerful than all the other sheep. Yes, this one's 120. Hold on, we gotta keep going. It's starting to get really expensive to make them larger. Yes. We've got one that's 1.23 now. Look at these sheep lording over all the other sheep. In fact, the entirety of the sheep population is starting to get bigger and bigger. We're gonna have dinosaur-sized sheep eventually. Look at them, they're knocking trees over. They're gonna end up jacking up this wild boar. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed Equilinox. You're gonna have to let me know what you thought about in the comments section below. What should we do? Should we like, like keep making the sheep bigger and bigger? We need to get like different biomes and stuff like that too. I eventually wanna get like the jungle and like, like the tropical biomes and stuff to unlock all the new animals. Hey folks, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.